Hey guys and welcome back to another video, I'm of course the captain and I'm still here in London hanging out with my brother and we've decided to go back to the Wizard Exploratorium as not only can you create your own potions which we did in my last video if you guys fancy checking it out I'll put a link in the top right But you can also create your own magic wand. <laughs> yes, and that is what we are doing today, and I cannot wait. This is going to be incredible. So at the beginning of the experience, they ask you what type of magic you would like to use. Dark magic, light magic, or earth magic. And I, of course, went for earth magic. Now, it may look a little dark at the minute, but our wand maker will use his magic wand to illuminate the room. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, I'm, I'm a bit too used to working in the dark and forget that others might not be as uh, nocturnal as me. Allow me to sort that out for you. There you are. Now, in front of you, you shall see three components of a wand's shaft and a wand's handle. Uh, try various different combinations, see which one feels friendliest to your partner. Then they pass you a tray with your wand components in it. There are three different shafts and three different handles for your magic wand. Let's put a few together and see how it feels in our hand. And once you have made your final decision, put it into the uh, cradle in front of you. your wand from being overwhelmed by your natural power, thus exploding in your hand, and also helps with the precision when it comes to spell casting. Uh, I suppose we're ready to start, yes. Uh, she will close the box whether your hand's in it or not. So, yes, uh, hold it tightly in your fist. We are then presented with a box which contains magical cores. You are asked to choose one at random, and I chose Phoenix Ashes, but the other two that you could have chosen were Dragon Scale and Unicorn Hair. Ah, now, uh, do pop your core into the lit up dish in front of you. Excellent. <laughs> Can you imagine if we, uh, if we still believe that the world was flat? <laughs> <laughs> it would be hilarious if that, if that was still the common consensus. You <laughs> believe that. Silly us, we actually believed that back in the day. That was stupid of us. Anyway, um, moving on. Uh, to your left, you have three uh, wood saps, or vials of wood sap. So, uh, do open them. Your sense of smell should be your best ally here, and your sense of sight might be your biggest hindrance. So, open them, sniff them, and the one that catches your nostrils best is the one that should go onto the lit up platform there. We were then asked to choose a wood sap. There was three to choose from. The first one was you, then elder, and then oak. I of course went with elder. Um, is that your final choice? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, so uh, we have you have elder. Thing, little oh. you you don't choose so me, you choose me. You've been told you have wisdom beyond your years. Meaning <laughs> Not really. Yeah. No. Do you no. think so? <laughs> yes, this is such a fantastic experience. Now you have to be careful as you insert the magical core inside your magic wand. I think my wand is coming along nicely. Good. 
Excellent. Next thing I want you to do is um, take your shaft and slide the internal in. Please be careful as this is when cores tend to jump out. Take the handle, slide it on the other side, meet, let them meet in the middle and screw them tightly together and then pop them directly onto the cradle in front of you to let them calibrate for a few seconds. If you need some assistance, I'm happy to help. Ha <laughs> ha yes, this is so cool! Ha <laughs> ha yes, now it's time for a little bit of magic, as we activate our wand by casting a spell. How about a bit of darkness with this next bit? Yes? Excellent. Mishka. So, one, two, three, grab. Lift it up. <laughs> Excellent. Wonderful. You have now bonded with your wand, so that means that you alone can reach its full potential. Others can use it, obviously, but you are the only one that can reach its full potential. And then on three, we'll all say activist together. And once you've said activist, bring your wand out of the circular motion and to your front, like so. Everyone clear on that? Good. So, circular motion. Good for the magical energy building. That's it, that's it. So, on three. So, one, two, three. Activist! Excellent. Oh. Eaten. Very sorry, she gets a bit excited around powerful wizards. <laughs> but um, well done, you're all full-fledged wizards. Congratulations! <laughs> excellent, excellent. Now, uh, how about a bit of magic? Excellent, good, good. It's a simple lighting spell, rather useful for the cold and dark winters. Ah, we have a prodigy on uh, in our mix. Excellent. A present from uh, us to you. It's a little bag that holds your wand and your certificate rather safely as you're travelling about your day. And so the only thing I have left to say after that is welcome, young wizards, to the Wizarding Society of London. I'm very proud to be your inductee. Uh, please do use your magic responsibly. <laughs> yes, this is a fantastic experience. If you guys are ever in London and you're huge Harry Potter fans, I highly recommend coming to the Wizard Exploratorium to create your very own magic wand. Now that's not all this wonderful place has to offer, as in my last video we created our very own magic potions, but they also offer a wizard afternoon tea, which we are also going to check out, so stay peeled for that upcoming video guys. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. If you enjoyed this video, why not smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!